Dum 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 dum. Hi, my name is Sososovsky and today I would like to tell you how to identify and remove malware from your computer. Uh, news broke out today that CCleanup, one of the most popular automated tools to remove malware from your computer, has been hacked and now it's actually distributing malware, so watch out for these. But since it's kind of tricky to remove malware myself, I will tell you simply what to, what to look for, how to identify and what to remove and how to not break your computer doing that. So the simplest places you can find malware in your computer is A, the processes that are running right now in your computer and two, the services. Services also processes is a bit complicated, but here are the two simplest places where you can find malware. Of course, the more sophisticated ones will be hidden deeper within your system, but we will not focus on these. So, first, we will go through services. We will use a tool that is called msconfig. So press Windows button, type msconfig. At system configuration, press enter, msconfig opens. This window has been there since Windows 95 and we want the services tab. And in the services tab, it's not really useful, there are three places where you can find services in the system, this is one of them, and it has hide all Microsoft services button. So when I press this, all of the services left are third party services. These are not critical to system operation, these are critical from additional peripheral hardware or maybe software operation. So you can feel free to disable any of these and some of the things might stop working but your system will still be operational. So if there's something that hinders your performance or seems sus suspicious, just disable it and go apply OK and then restart your computer. That was Apple mobile service, when I disabled that, that would disable my iPhone to work with iTunes, but I want that. And when you scroll down, you basically want to look for something that looks suspicious. Uh, one thing that cut, cut, caught my eye is Incredible, but I know Incredible is a uh, build helper since I'm making video games is there, but it's not needed, so I disabled that, now it doesn't need my resources. But when you keep scrolling and keep scrolling and there's something that catches your eye, look, it's totally malware. Actually, it's not. I've written that myself. I put it there just to show you how to find malware. So the manufacturer is unknown. It is stopped. It is not running, but it can enable itself at some point. So now we want to see the details of that. So we will open the task manager with Control Shift Escape shortcut and go to the Services tab. And in the Services tab, we will find OMG totally malware. So now. When I right click, I can search online and see what it is. When I search online for Oh my god, totally malware, of course, nothing will, nothing really interesting will show up. But I can apply this to anything I don't understand. Like if I see one sync service 887AC, it looks really weird. And But I can right click and search online for that. And no results found. What if I do that? Oh, it's Bang. Oh my god. Let's go to Google. Google, can you help us? Google. What if I disable that? What does one sync service do? Here, done. I have to sign in. Nice. Nice try window. Service defaults. Look, it's the service synchronizes mail, contacts, calendar, and various other user data. See, it's useful, so we leave it be. But some of them like this, this is not really useful. So I can open services now, we want to disable it, so I can open services, here it is in services, I can right click and go to properties, and in properties I have the path to executable, and path to executable is C code C nothing, because I have written that myself, and it does nothing, so the name is nothing, here it is, you can basically right click, click shift and delete, and this will permanently delete this file. But sometimes the service, even if it's, uh, even if when you stop it, it will restart automatically. So what will happen is it will not let you uh, delete the file immediately. So what you can do is you can press F2 to change the name of the file, change it into some garbage. You can even change the ex the extension of the file. And yeah, I want to change it. And now the name is like that. And after restarting your computer, it will not launch that because it will not find it. So then you can put it in trash and delete it permanently. But let's get back. So this basically will remove our malware from computer. So we don't need this anymore. 
and the other place that you can look for is the processes. But these are this is a simplified view, we want the details. And actually, as I said, services are also processes, so when I right click, uh, this one is stopped, so I can see the details, but if I click the running one, I can go to the details of that. This is actually service host that hosts services that are run from the DLL, not an executable. And this has even more things that might seem really suspicious, but they also have a description right here that lets you uh, see what it is. And you can of course right click and search online from anything. It will search on Bing, so it might be tricky, but it will search and find anything you need. So basically build service, what is that? So let's search online, build service, that's incredible that I already disabled, so I right click and end it. I want to end this process and now it's gone. But it's still in my computer, I don't want to really delete it. But things that are here are still present on your computer. So when you scroll down and you see a lot, you'll probably see a lot of things that are suspicious to you the first time. But you can Google all of them and then every next time will be easier for you and then you will be able to identify malware yourself. So, when I go down, I will see it's virus.exe. That's really suspicious. I have wrote that myself. Uh, so, it's also the nothing thing. It actually, here is the source code for that. So, it does nothing. It sleeps for 10 seconds forever and then it doesn't quit ever so you need to kill the process so I can kill the process but I want to I want to find it first I can of course search online but it might not find anything virus exe that doesn't tell me anything so I can right click I can open file location and see where it is and it is right here but if I try to delete it now it will not allow me to because it's open this file is open in itself because it is the executable so I can try again, but it will not let me. So what I can do, I can, as I said, I can now change the name. And then I can delete it after restarting my computer. But since this one does not restart automatically, I can just end task. It's gone now, and then I can delete it from my computer. Oh, I press delete, I need to press shift to delete. So it will permanently delete this file. A lot of antivirus programs will help you identify these. I use Avira antivirus, I don't use any of the cleaners because I'm kind of afraid of them and now I can see that it's for a good reason. Uh, but this simple tutorial, I hope it helped you to be able to identify and remove some of the malware from your computers. Just remember kids, don't remove anything that's important because it might seem suspicious at first but when you look into it this is actually an important part of the storage system of my computer. So I don't want to get rid of it. Use the search online thing, use Google, use Bing, ask a friend, make sure you don't destroy your computer and make sure your computer is safe and clean from malware. Thanks!